Hi you guys, so I decided to do a really quick reading on what does a comic want from your person. Okay, because I am feeling super nosy right now. <clears throat> I'm in one of my nosy moods. Um, I don't have any nail polish on, so sorry about that. But what does the what does the comic want from your person? Okay, so this could be an ex, this could be a baby mama. Um what do they want from your ex? No, no, not what do they want from your ex. What do they want from their ex? What do you want from... Okay. Oh, they... The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So basically, they want some sort of financial instability. They don't want you to start a family with your person. Okay, that's what I'm getting. They are so paranoid that you and your person will start a family and build wealth together, make money together, work with each other, um, build a happy home. They're really afraid of that happening. Should I pull these four? Because they just popped up like this. I feel like I sh that's just too easy. No, I'm going to shuffle. If they're meant to come out, they will come out, okay? So, what does a comic want from your person? Okay. They want control. They want a car. They, this literally could mean that they want your person to, um, <laughs> to uh, give them a car, buy them a car. They want control of a car or they want to just have control and balance. If your person, I don't know why I'm getting this, but if your person owns a car company, they want control over that car company. But how many, how many of us own a car company, right? What, what am I saying? What am I even saying? Um, well, most people don't own car companies or if your person and you own a car dealership, as in what car company has a franchise model for the dealerships? Anyway, if your person has some sort of um, car, car related um, business, even even just a YouTube channel where they um, test drive cars or whatever, they want control over that. I don't know. Maybe this is a very lucrative business. Um, oh, and another thing is they want control over who your person has children with. Ew, what? Because this is a cancer card and cancer is a fourth house and that's all about motherhood. So I don't know if the comic is male or female, but whatever the case may be, this person wants control over who your person has children with. Because like in the, um, I'm not supposed to say like inappropriately, my teacher doesn't like it when I do that. Um, because if you pay attention, um, this is about not wanting you to start a family with your person, which is kind of effed up. Um, but if you watched my uh, video, my uh, reading about the platonic comics, I'm going to link the link, um, the video down below. Um, I basically did a reading about what does a platonic comic feel about your person? What's the tea on them? What are they thinking? And one of the platonic comics, I think it was PAL3, came out as um, platonic egg or sperm donors. And this person was so pressed about your person having children with other people. Actually, if your person is an active sperm or egg donor, they're kind of okay with your person donating their sperm or eggs to a certain kind of person. But they get extra triggered when, they, when your person has... Um, ha uh, gets people certain type of people pregnant and for, I don't I have no idea what that uh, criteria would be what, what what category um they would have for who they are okay with your partner having babies which is completely out of line nobody should unless they're the official partner if if you're somebody's husband or somebody's wife obviously you you are entitled to say I don't want you to have babies with random people because what on earth? What the fuck, right? But um, this is somebody who shouldn't have that kind of say in your person's life. This could be a platonic baby mama, for example, um, a recipient of a, a sperm donation. And this person is so pressed. So for example, I, I kind of feel like this person is very eugenics-y in that this person um, doesn't want your person to have 
children with people with certain traits. Maybe they want their children to be the smartest. Maybe they want the children that they had with your person to be the smartest or <laughs> nicest looking um, offspring that your person had, ever had. And they see you as, they're very competitive about that for some reason. That's sick. Ooh, and they want your person to be their main person. So this comic wants your person back. They want your person, especially if your person is a masculine energy, this comic wants your person to be their husband. What is this? But their, their motivations, you see, this is the, okay, this, I just, um, I just pulled this out. It wasn't meant to. I didn't shuffle it, but I just felt compelled to open it. And that clarifies the emperor. So they want your partner to be their main partner, but actually your person and them are not at the same level because this is the emperor and this is not the empress. This is the queen of pentacles and she's reversed at that, which tells me that this person is very, very materialistic and they're motivated by material things. So I don't know, maybe your person is very wealthy, I guess. Um, let's see what else the comic wants from your partner, your person. The comic, ooh, the comic wants, wants to have, okay, so here's the thing, <coughs> and this isn't for everybody, but if you, as your person's official partner currently, um, if you, oh, another thing is, this may also, um, apply you see how this one one of the sphinx is black um this makes me think of black gold so um this could this may not only be a car company um this could be something related to energy so oil and gas um even wind because i'm i see the white uh white sphinx of the chariot as being kind of wind power and solar power while the black is oil and gas and coal so here's the thing. This is this is not see more black and white, black and white. Um, they want your person to make a choice, which is not usually how I um, interpret the uh, pillars. The, the the pillars in the um, why did I almost say pole strippers pole whatever? Um, how I typically interpret the pillars on the um, the high priestess. Um, this might. Um, resonate with you if you're a Pisces and you're dating either an Aries or a Cancer uh, or have one of those placements but this 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 card only applies if you're um, intuitive or psychic or an empath or you have astrology reading skills or you have um, tarot reading skills this applies to you if you have those skills or you have a spiritual connection with your person so for example if you have you can do telepathy with your person or you can read their mind or you are somehow maybe you're um, part of their soul tribe or soul family this person wants that this person may have been one of those people who believed in nothing until they saw um, how spirituality enhanced your relationship with your person and now that person wants that this person could be secretly studying tarot they could be secretly studying astrology even if they um even if they usually would scoff on that and look down on that kind of thing all of a sudden they see how that enhances your relationship with your person and they just became spiritual overnight or um, they could be seeing psychics or getting tarot readings or astrology readings about you. Don't let them on your details. Don't let them in on your details is the advice here. Just don't let them know your place of birth or time of birth. Um, it's pretty easy to um, um, keep that information hidden if you're not a public figure, right? So the world, they, they are not over with your person they're not over with your person they are they will never let go of your person until they get what they want so if you're in a relationship with your person and you feel like <coughs> um when will the, when will this person leave me alone um even by the time their children come of age by the time their children turn 18 um they're still going to bother your relationship they're still trying going to try to interfere see 
They're going to be passive aggressive about it for now, um, but there's certainly a lot of hostility and they are willing to win at all costs until they get what they want. Um, so they will do whatever it takes to make sure that you never um, get together with your partner, that you never kind of um, officiate your union. They're really paranoid about this right now. And they acknowledge that you're a star though. They, they acknowledge your star quality. Um, they might be watching you online because this is Aquarian energy and Aquarian energy is technology and Uranian energy and the internet. Um, ooh, they are very, very um, competitive. And it's interesting because this person, this person, for this person, okay, another thing is that they, they, <coughs> they could watch you. <coughs> they could be stalking you. I'm sorry, I keep... Um, coughing it's my throat chakra it's been getting attacked a lot lately um they're definitely watching you online um if you work in the tech sector they are really kind of they feel very um intimidated and threatened by you um i don't know what this is maybe you have skills you have it skills you have your brain is a quantum computer. I, I don't know why I just channeled this, but this person thinks, this person thinks that your brain is a quantum computer. That is so weird. That is such a weird, ooh, but you know what? I made a tweet a couple of weeks ago where I com compared psychics to quantum computers. Whereas non-psychic people, you know, the muggles, they are just binary computers that um, rely on ration reason and logic or they just think you're crazy smart ooh and ooh 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 um remember how i said this person doesn't want your person to have children with you they are um threatened by your quantum computer brain and they're worried that your if you have if you were to have children with your partner your children would not only be logical and rational but they might have psychic abilities and this person like i said this person never believed in psychics and the spiritual world and she, this person would have been very a very 3d person and they've kind of had a semi-spiritual awakening um i say semi-spiritual awakening because they're starting to become more open-minded about these things um they're starting to become more open-minded about these things, but they themselves haven't developed these um, abilities and maybe their ancestors, maybe their spirit guides are limiting their ability to become fully psychic or um, have their third eye fully open because maybe, because you know, our, our ancestors can get mad at us too. And I feel like this person's ancestors know that if they were given the ability these abilities now that they would probably misuse them for um, egotistical reasons for selfish reasons to get ahead at work or whatever um, which we all use um, our abilities to protect ourselves and get ahead but this person you see how these cards came out in the reverse and when cards appear in the reverse what is this Ooh, you are a, a huge burden in this person's life so um, yeah you are a major burden in this, in this person's life because nine of wands and ten of wands. So when um, tarot cards appear in the uh, reverse, they um, become very polarized in the energy and they come become extreme. So for so um, they not only become polarized like um, negative and um, positive, um, but they also become very extreme. So they're not centrist. They're either either way. So um, so for example. Um, um, this is conflict, this is competition, this is winning at all costs, this is a hostile environment, this is a dispute. So, um, uh, an extreme is manifestation of this energy would either be winning on, at all costs or being competitive but not wanting to appear competitive. So this person might actually smile in your face if this is a baby mama when they drive their kids to see their dad for the weekend or whatever, and you live with your person, this person might put a smile, they might smile in your face and then have the children spy on you 
or whatever. So this is really passive aggressive energy and this is super competitive, either either hidden competition, still competitive, but they hide their competitiveness and they might make underhanded compliments rather, or this person will be full blown aggressive in the approach to competing with you. So there's that. Um what else do we want to see? Let's use the kipper. Because why not, right? Um, let's get some advice for you. Um, because let's, yeah. Let's try not to make you um, see this person as a burden. Oh, they will get their judgment. They will get their judgment. Don't worry. Because even, I feel like even their ancestors wouldn't let them um, have fully blown... Um, full-blown uh, spiritual abilities because the ancestors don't trust them yet. I don't know if they're a young soul or an old soul, but um, this is a person who hasn't really learned their lessons in their lifetime. They just keep coming back and making the same mistakes over and over and over again. I don't know why I'm getting that. That was channeled, actually. Short illness. They're going to try to make you miserable. Military person. They will be relentless. Hope and big water because this person is still hopeful that they can um, get what they want. They want the great happiness. They are going to take legal action. So they might play legal games with your person because they still want to be your person's main person. This person, again, so you see, remember, this card came out. They still want your person to be the emperor and they want to be the empress. But they have, their motivations are purely material here. So... Yeah, I guess I guess the advice would be to Oh, you're the rich girl. Either they want to be the rich girl or they see you as a rich girl. I th I think they see you as a rich girl and the idea that you could perhaps um get rich by using your, you know, your charisma, your star power, your um abilities, your IT skills. Why I don't know why I keep getting IT skills. This person is if you have IT skills, if you work in a STEM field or I don't know, if you um why am I getting car features? So if you I don't know, if this person is really threatened by that and they don't want you to get rich um through your IT related ideas. So if you have ideas for a startup, if you have ideas for an app if you know how to code and you can, I don't know, if you develop your own apps, this person is watching you like a hawk. They don't want you to make progress in that field. Ugh. Okay, well, that wasn't very helpful. Let's get, um, let's get some proper, proper advice. Where are my oracles? I can't find my oracles. <gasps> Where are my oracles? Oh no. Oh, here they are. So. Oops. Oh my god, that was. This person is going. That was a sign. Do not tell me that was not a sign. That was totally a sign. This person will do whatever it takes to knock you off your throne. <gasps> okay, so. Let's get some advice for you. Ooh, and that was a hard knock too yikes okay letting go letting go bloom and serenity okay i feel like this is don't fight this person seeking knowledge you know what you know what the advice here is rather than stressing out about this comic i think that you should focus on learning new things um learn new skills keep your skills updated i don't know why i got such a strong um it and stem and tech vibe with this reading but um you know um uh your knowledge can expire it can become obsolete really fast in the it world you you know things can just i don't even i i i i i open code these days and i don't even know what i'm looking at anymore which makes me feel old but whatever see avoid conflict avoid conflict just Focus on seeking knowledge and upgrading yourself, um, unity, and focus on unity rather than conflict. So try to be a pacifist in the situation. Try to be the bigger person. Um, okay, letting go. What I'm seeing here is 
let this person fight for your person, but you don't fight for your person, okay? Don't fight for your person because if this person, even if you still love your person and you're still willing to work on the relationship, <clears throat> my voice got really raspy uh, i think somebody is really trying to attack my um oh another thing that i got i don't know where i saw this but i recently watched um a reading somewhere and this person just said that somebody's grandmother or somebody's great aunt is uh does witchcraft and even if this person works in a stem field and they you would never suspect them of believing in this stuff or this. you think this person doesn't even know how to contact a psychic. Their grandma, their grandma um, might do witchcraft on you on your person. So just because this person looks like a t perfectly rational, logical, 3D, I'm all about science kind of person, this person's family might be doing stuff in the dark. So there's that. I think you're being spied on by certain family members look at look at how she's looking at her Ooh. okay so um yeah just um don't if, even if you do work on your relationship and you're always trying to be nice to your person like you should in a relationship um try not to uh be very showy about that um just I mean act act normal <laughs> act normal act normal well, i don't know why i kept getting act normal act normal but um don't show and um yeah recognition acknowledgement being seen don't let that be seen um because what you should focus on is serenity is your peace of mind so don't make a show of trying to fight for your relationship even if behind the scenes you are fighting for your relationship and you're maintaining your relationship with your person and you know you the communication is great but don't do it in front of this person because this comic this comic will do whatever it takes to ruin your relationship so they can a they don't want you to be successful in your career c they don't want you to have high honors and they don't want you to be a rich girl they don't want you to be able to say monetize on your ideas let's say you want to sell your ideas to a, a, a car company say they don't want you to sell those ideas to a car company because they would rather you be broke and see they're really, really, they're a false person and they are really kind of, um, they're, 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 they're super uh, threatened by your intelligence. Wow, that, that's a really weird reading. That's, that's a really interesting reading. So I hope this helps somebody. I know that was super, super specific. Um, uh, but yeah, if you, if this resonated with me, let me know because, wow, um, I'm not even sure this would ever resonate with somebody because that was so specific so i hope this helps somebody um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time and um thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channel i really really appreciate you um and thanks for taking the time to even watch my stuff <laughs> so thank you so much bye, -bye.